हेलो एवरी वन वी आर एफ ट्वेल्व एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट टॉपिक ऑन ड्यूअल कोर आर्किटेक्चर सो दिस इज अवर टीम एंड लेट स्टार्ट विथ अवर फर्स्ट स्लाइड ड्यूअल कोर आर्किटेक्चर इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी दैट हैज बिकम मोर पॉप्युलर इन रिसेंट इयर्स इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल कवर द बेसिक्स ऑफ ड्यूअल कोर आर्किटेक्चर इट्स टाइप्स advantages limitations and its future applications so first of all let's see the evolution of cpu architecture there are four uh, evolution steps as uh, single core processors then we have multi core processors then comes our dual core architecture and finally increased the computing power now let's move on how dual core architecture works so there are four points first integration second autonomy third performance and fourth communication so let's see integration dual core architecture uses two independent cpus to perform calculations and execute instructions simultaneously improving performance and efficiency next we have autonomy so each cpu has its own cache memory and registers allowing them to work on different tasks simultaneously without interfering with each other and then uh, let's see the performance uh, with two cores a dual core processor can handle more instructions at once making it well suited for demanding computing ap applications like video editing and gaming and finally communication the two cores communicate through shared bus which enables them to share data and synchronize their operations seamlessly and now sarthak will explain the types of dual core architecture As you have seen in the previous slide, dual core architecture is a type of computer processor architecture that utilizes two separate physical CPU cores on a single chip. This design provides several advantages over single core processors, such as increased processing power and improved multitasking capabilities. There are two types of dual core architecture: symmetric multiprocessing (SMP) and heterogeneous multiprocessing (HMP). Let's look at each type in more detail. So let's start with symmetric multiprocessing (SMP). SMP is a type of dual core architecture where both cores are identical and have equal access to the system resources. This means that both cores are capable of executing any task, and the operating system treats them as equal processing units. SMP is the most common type of dual core architecture, and it's used in many desktop and laptop computers. SMP is also used in servers to provide higher processing power and better multitasking capabilities. Now the second type is heterogeneous multiprocessing (HMP). HMP is a type of dual core architecture where each core has a different design or specification. This means that one core may be designed for high performing high performance computing while the other core is designed for low power consumption. HMP is commonly used in mobile devices like smartphones and tablets where the low power core is used for basic tasks like checking email or browsing the web while high perf high performance core is used for more demanding tasks like gaming or video editing in summary dual core architecture is a type of processor architecture that utilizes two separate physical cpus on a single chip providing several advantages over single core processors The two types of dual core architecture are symmetric multiprocessing (SMP) and heterogeneous multiprocessing (HMP), each with its own advantages and use cases. So now is the advantages of dual core architecture. Dual core architecture refers to the design of computer processors that have two separate cores on a single chip. This architecture offers several advantages, including power efficiency, improved performance. cost savings and better multitasking capabilities one of the key advantages of dual core architecture is power efficiency as dual core processors can run at a lower clock speeds reducing power consumption and heat dissipation in addition dual core processors can handle more instructions per clock cycle resulting in faster processing times and enhanced processing capabilities Moreover 
डुअल कोर प्रोसेसर्स ऑफर कॉस्ट सेविंग बाय परफॉर्मिंग हाई परफॉर्मेंस विदाउट द नीड फॉर मल्टीपल सिंगल कोर प्रोसेसर्स दिस आर्किटेक्चर अलाउ फॉर बेटर मल्टीटास्किंग कैपेबिलिटीज एज टू सी पी यू कोर्स इनेबल द सिस्टम टू रन मल्टीपल एप्लीकेशन एंड टास्क साइमल्टेनियसली विदाउट अ ड्रॉप इन परफॉर्मेंस सो नाउ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड फॉर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डोल कोर आर्किटेक्चर एज फॉर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डोल कोर आर्किटेक्चर इट कैन बी यूटिलाइज इन वेरियस फील्ड सच एज गेमिंग वीडियो एडिटिंग सर्वर एप्लीकेशन साइंटिफिक कंप्यूटिंग मोबाइल डिवाइसेस एंड ए आई मशीन लर्निंग फॉर इंस्टेंस डोल कोर आर्किटेक्चर कैन प्रोवाइड एनहांस परफॉर्मेंस फॉर इमर्सिव गेम प्ले फास्टर एंड स्मूदर वीडियो प्रोसेसिंग एंड इम्प्रूव इफिशियंसी फॉर सेवरल टास्क एंड अमंग अदर्स सो हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज ज्ञानेश्वर गांड एंड आई विल गिव इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट डुअल कोर आर्किटेक्चर एंड सिंगल कोर आर्किटेक्चर नाउ देस अंडरस्टैंड इट बाय डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग डुअल कोर आर्किटेक्चर एंड सिंगल कोर आर्किटेक्चर विथ पॉप some basic parameter now here we will discuss the difference in dual core architecture and single core architecture on the basis of first parameter cost dual core architecture is more expensive due to the additional processing unit and hardware requirements on the other hand single core architecture is less expensive as it require fewer hard components and a simpler design next one is energy consumption dual core architecture consumes more energy due to presence of two processing units and additional power requirements whereas single core architecture consumes less energy as there is only one processing unit and lower power requirements now third parameter we have to discuss here is processing power dual core architecture provides higher processing power than single core architecture due to the presence of two separate processing units and single core architecture provides limited processing power as there is only one processing unit available after this now let's see the timeline of the dual core architecture development in 2005 introduction and the first core processor were introduced by the intel and amd in 2006 adoption dual core processor become the wide adopted in the desktops and laptop computers in 2007 quad core intel introduced the first quad core processor building the success of the dual core in 2008 server market dual core processor become the popular in the server market offering the increased performance and efficiency in 2010 multi core dual core processor paved the way of the development with multi core processor with the even high levels of the performance in 2012 mobile device dual mobile device core processor become the common in mobile device such as the smartphones and tablet in 2005 ten generation inte release the 10th generation of their their core i7 and i9 processor with the features dual core architecture and continued development the dual core processor remain the key of the part processor development with the ongoing improvement in the performance and efficiency let's see the future of dual core architecture future application as a technology advance dual core architecture to the like to find the way of into the more device particularity in the area of the mobile devices the increase in the processing power will be end in more complex and demanding application to the run smoothly as a virtual argument reality high quality and streaming and the advanced gaming let's see the efficiency dual core architecture has the already demonstrated is the potential to improve efficiency and reduce energy consumption as the chief manufacturing and continue to refine the design and reduce the size of the transistor we can expect the even greater gains in efficiency this will have a significant impact on the mobile device industry where battery life is crucial factor for users let's see the innovation dual core architecture is just the beginning of a new era of the computing with the rise of the multi core processor and the potential of for the integrating of the 
architecture if you see we can the expect even the more powerful and intelligent devices in the future this will not only the change the way of interact with the technology but also open up new possibilities for the scientific research and medical diagnosis and the other fields